It's a collection of Southern California artists showcasing their talent. The All Media 2016 Art Exhibition at the Irvine Fine Arts Center allows artists to be as creative as their vision allows. They can incorporate painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, ceramics, and more, all in one piece or pick and choose art mediums of their own. We've had a lot of fabulous submissions this year. It was a very difficult process for the juror, um, especially in selecting the six award winners, the three for second and third place and the honorable mentions. There are a lot of really outstanding works and for the juror it was, it was a challenge to pick just six, so um, we were really fortunate to have such a high quality exhibition. 500 pieces submitted and of those, 50 chosen. First place winner Cesar Alzalte Jr. painted steel wool and incorporated magnets, string, and pins to put together his installation. An installation that took 40 hours to assemble. I named this piece Medusa on Magnetic Field, and I named this piece uh, that because um, it's made out of magnets, and uh, the Medusa part is when I was intending that when a person comes and sees it, they are stunned and be put in a state of questioning. Rojean McCula explains her award-winning piece titled Under the Hood. It's all about memories of cars and the car culture in Southern California. The red is about sports cars and fast cars and glamorous cars and the purple is a memory from my childhood of seeing these advertisements for royal purple motor oil. Um, then when I was casting the piece I had some valves from a car, just loose parts. I poked those through and later added the bolts in those holes. So. Uh, that was the mechanical part of the automobile. Ching Chang explains she sculpted her vintage camera by gluing book pages together. Chang says she feels a connection to cameras. I think the cameras is like our extension of our eyes and our uh, ourself, our brain, that we have to look through a lens and then find the image and it's like our memory that we only can create once. Older books are mostly collected from flea markets and garage sales. And a lot of time those books has, you know, marks of, you know, people's writing on them or, you know, the, the color lines and notes or a gift from someone. And it's really precious just reading through the notes or through the books and holding someone else's memories and then now is um, taking on to another journey with me. So I like that aspect of gathering the materials is sort of a, a process to me too. Among the honorable mentions, two friends who share a common interest, crocheting, came together to make their piece called Comfort Food Blanket. We were kind of crocheting little individual food pieces and then as we were making more and more, it we were like, let's just put this all together in a giant outrageous blanket. So that's <laughs> how Comfort Food Blanket came to be. But this piece in particular probably took us around three months to create, just working on it here and there a little bit every day. And there are multiple layers underneath. We have plates underneath holding it all together to create a nice even backdrop and then each individual item on top stitched on there. Douglas Stockdale seeks out different types of subjects to serve as metaphors. In this image, although um, we're looking at the life cycle of a plant, we're also thinking in terms of the life cycle of a person. And here the final memories are left, and that's what I'm trying to understand and capture. Joseph Van Houten's piece is comprised of four canvases, all coming together to form a story. What I wanted to do is get the sense of being able to have two things going on at one time. The idea that this is an abstraction with broken glass and backgrounds, and the idea it's also a macrocosm of the cosmos and the constellations, and also the intimacy of the drawings that each one of these artists produced. And to see the works of these artists and many others, you're invited to take a tour of the gallery. Admission is free and the All Media 2016 exhibition runs through October 22nd. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.